the Ekiti governorship, uh, uh, 2022 governorship elections, I was held on the 18th of June. Uh, for us, let us start with the uh, INEC preparation and INEC involvement. From We were here in 2018 and we saw a lot of things that happened. And uh, from the INEC end, really, we as an organization, we give a good applause to INEC. From what happened in 2018, which card readers we used. Now we talk about the Biva technology, biometric. It could authenticate, does the capturing. Even with your thumbprint, it brings out your photo. Like, if you had followed up on the Anambra governorship elections last uh, November, last year, you will know that INEC has so improved in the technology because there were a lot of issues of the beavers that were not working, especially in eight local governments in Anambra State. But in this election, in the 16 local government, we had very little story of um, beavers that were not working. The beavers worked. That was why many places, we even stood there and we saw them rounding up to start uh, you know, uh, you know, concluding the elections. Many places had concluded the elections between 132. Many, many polling units because the beavers were working. So that's an applause to Heineke. This new technology has brought a new improvement in the electoral process in Nigeria, and we give it to the They did well. Two, so in the, the 2018 elections, we also discovered that the, the um, ad hoc staff who were manning the polling units were too young to take decisions. They were too young to, to take to be in control of certain things that had happened in the polling units. But in these elections that had been corrected, many of the polling officers we saw, though they were young people, though they were youth coppers, of course they were youths, but we interacted to many of them and we saw that they were in charge. There's this particular polling unit we went to. It's called um, Unit 1, not 1, to Ikere. Is it Ikere or Ikare? Ikere. Ikere. Ikere, yes. Now, we were there at Ikere at uh, 11.20 something at that polling unit. This polling unit is in front of a palace of the of a king. One, uh, uh, try to remember the name of that uh, uh, palace, but it's the king's palace. Maybe Ogoga. Ogoga, yes, it's a, the King's Palace. So, from what we saw in Ado, many of the people was like rowdy. Noise, people were uh, causing a lot of problems. They don't want to stand in the queue. But in this Ikere, we were there when people are trying to uh, 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 do their authentication. Now, we suddenly saw the young man, the pulling officer, he was like restless because you know, say so what's what's they say the, the beaver, the uh, data in the beaver is no more working. So quickly, he knew what to do. We saw him; he used his mobile data. It worked. The the voters did not know what happened. You know, he was not panicking. He, he quickly used his mobile data to 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 on the papers and he started working and people came. And that was amazing. That's a young man that is not up to 28 years. But because be from our observation report that we normally give to I need, I need reads all the reports. So they take out what is necessary. So they had taken out that they need to improve on deploying matured uh, people on the field. So that young man, though he was 28, but he was matured. He did that and otherwise they would have been calling for a technical support. You know, and before a technical support comes, people will be disenfranchised and start shouting and screaming, oh, this support was in control. So 
that was done. People of the Fountain.